What's up everybody? I wanted to share the latest progress on my special relativity project. We got a lot more things agreeing from a lot more perspectives basically. Check this out. So our current rest frame is Earth. As these two rocket ships pass by Earth going opposite directions at 0.8 times the speed of light, everybody on Earth, both rockets, and this destination all start a stopwatch. When we start the simulation, we can see the rocket flies off to the sun. And when the rocket reaches the sun, we get this output. This is the time on the rocket and the time on the sun. Because the sun is four light seconds away, and the rocket is going 0.8 times the speed of light. The clock on the destination and the clock on the Earth read five seconds when the rocket reaches the destination. And because of time dilation, the clock on the rocket reads three seconds. We can also view these events from the perspective of the sun. And because it's immobile with respect to the Earth, we get the exact same result, unsurprising. According to the rules of special relativity, if two clocks are in the same place at the same time, then everybody should agree about what those clocks say when they're in that place. So that means that everybody should agree that when this rocket reaches the destination, the rocket clock says three and the destination clock says five. So let's test that. We'll reset our program and click on the rocket to change perspectives to the rocket. A whole bunch of stuff happens. Because of length contraction, the distance between the Earth and the Sun has become quite a bit shorter. It's now only 2.4 light seconds. Also, the time on the Sun clock has become offset. Simultaneity of events has been broken, and according to the rocket, the Sun started its stopwatch 3.2 seconds ago. Also, you'll see that the velocity of everything has changed. Because the rocket is our new observer, it considers its own velocity to be zero, and its own position to be zero, at all times. The velocities of the Earth and the Sun have both changed to negative 0.8. This is the opposite velocity of what they saw the rocket. The velocity of the other rocket, which the Earth saw as negative 0.8 times the speed of light because of the velocity addition equation, is negative 0.98 times the speed of light. Not what you might expect in a Newtonian world, negative 1.6 times the speed of light. That would be impossible. So. We'll start the simulation from the rocket's perspective. We'll see that it stays centered, and when it reaches the destination, it agrees. Its clock is 3, and the destination's clock is 5. The whole journey just seemed quite a bit shorter. Finally, and most weirdly, we can view this from the perspective of the other rocket, which is seeing everything traveling to the right at pretty close to the speed of light. It won't see the rocket reach the destination, until it's actually completely off the screen. But once it does, wait for it, it also agrees that this rocket and destination clocks read three and five. We can jump from the perspective of the Earth to a rocket and back to the Earth again and see that the time, velocity, and position returns to what it originally was. We can jump to another rocket and back to the Earth again. So far, so good. So why in the world, with all these things agreeing, when we jump to one rocket and then to the other rocket, do we get results that don't make sense? We're very, very close. I'm not sure if this is some sort of unity rounding error or if my math is incorrect, but someday this thing is gonna be able to simulate all sorts of crazy special relativity stuff like the twin paradox if I just keep working at it and figuring these things out.